The Legend of Baal, How Baal Got His Stripes by Lucas Taekwon Lee Illustrated by Max Forward Two thousand seven by Lucas Taekwon Lee. For generations there was peace between the tigers and the jackals in Songham jungle. The law of the jungle said the tigers must live in the highlands and the jackals must live in the lowlands. The leadership and hierarchy of tigers was dictated by the number of stripes on their coat. The three striped tigers were at the top of the chain and ruled the jungle for generations. After them, there were the two striped tigers, then the one striped tigers. The lowest class were the tigers without any stripes. They lived in the middle lands, just above the jackals. Baal was born with no stripes. Why can't we go to the high grounds like the other tigers, asked Baal. This is where we belong, said his uncle, Hyun. But what makes the three-star tigers better than us, asked Baal. Destiny, answered his uncle. We are destined to serve the three-striped tigers. The days went on and Bayo's patience was tested. One day he confessed his frustration to his mother. I respect the law, but I do not accept that it is our destiny to be peasants. His mother then told him a story that most tigers had long forgotten. Thousands of years ago, when tigers and jackals were at war, there was a tiger who had no stripes but overcame his hardships with confidence, courage, and leadership. His bravery and skills were greater than even the three striped tigers. One day, he leaped in the air to defend some of his fellow tigers, and a miraculous thing happened. He began to fly. The battle stopped, and all the tigers and jackals froze in disbelief. From then on, the flying tiger became a leader in the jungle and brought peace to the land. How did the tiger fly? asked Baal. He didn't even have any stripes. He had the courage to believe he could achieve more than society told him, his mother replied. The courage to believe he could achieve more than the society told him. Inspired by the story of the flying tiger, Baal was now even more determined to change his destiny. I want to achieve great things also, but I cannot do so if I stay here. Baal's mother worried for her son, but she knew his adventurous spirit would not allow him to stay. So Baal decided to leave the safety of his tribe in search of truth. Days had passed as Baal explored the jungle. After many weeks, he no longer knew how, fa- how to get home. This was a very strange land for the young tiger. All of a sudden, a pack of jackals surrounded Baal. With their teeth snarling, they drew closer and attacked. But just as he thought the end was coming, the snarling turned into whimpering. He opened his eyes and the jackals had disappeared. An old tiger named Jang Su stood before him. What are you doing out here, Jang Su asked. Don't you know the dangers of the jungle? All my life, I have been told I cannot achieve anything great, Bayo said. But I believed that in the jungle I could change my destiny. Bao asked the old and weathered Jangsu how he chased away all five jackals. Little tiger, do not make the assumptions based on physical appearance, Jangsu said. You have much to learn from then on, Baal followed Jengsu and began to learn new lessons in his life. With pers- perseverance, perseverance, with perseverance, Baal endured the training that pushed his body to the limit. Days turned into weeks, 
as Jinxu challenged Bao to train harder. Weeks turned into months as Bao grew into a strong tiger. Then, after a long day of grueling exercises, they stood in front of a mighty river. Jang Su instructed Bao to jump across the entire river in one leap. The river is at least 20 times the length of my body, worried Bao. If I fall, the strength of the river might sweep me away. You must try your best, said Jang Su. With doubt, Bao jumped as far as he could, but he fell before even making it halfway across. Panic, he swam back to the shore coughing and sputtering. It's no use, Bao said. I do not have enough strength to cross this river. This is because you do not believe, Jengsu said. How do you expect to do it without any confidence? Bao shook off the water from his coat, looking at the river and with determination. He stepped back and jumped with all his might. This time, he made it halfway across the river, but he still fell into the water. The current was very strong, and he needed to be saved from the river by Jengsu. We both know I am not strong enough, said Bao. After all, I am a lowly peasant tiger. Besides, how will jumping over the river help me become a leader? Little tiger, in this jungle you will be tested by things much more dangerous than a river, answered Jingsu. It is now time to allow your courage to find your nobility. Allow your courage to find your nobility. Bao was angry and frustrated, but even more determined. He hadn't come so far to quit now. He had to believe he could achieve what he thought was impossible. He mustered all the strength he had left and ran as fast as he could toward the riverbank. Bao's perseverance paid off, and he landed on the other side with room to spare. With excitement, he exclaimed, I did it, I did it. All of a sudden, a stripe magically appeared on Bao's coat. He looked down at his fur and boasted, I have a stripe, look at me. Suddenly, Jeng Su appeared next to him and said, Bao, you must remain confident, yet also humble. But how did I get this stripe on my coat? asked Bao. All my life, I have been powerless and without a stripe. Now, I have enough strength to leap a river, and I have a stripe. Jeng Su reminded him, It is not how powerful you are that is important. It is how you choose to apply the, your power that truly makes you great. It is not how powerful you are that is important. It is how you choose to apply your power that truly makes you great. Then they heard snarling sounds from the other side of the river. A very weak and injured tiger was trying to fend off four jackals. Remember, your strength has been tested, Jenks, said. Now you must choose how to use it. A jackal pounced on top of the weak tiger and drew his deadly teeth close. Without time to think, Bao leaped across the river. This time, with ease, the jackals quickly turned their fighting snarls toward Bao. In one pounce, Bao had all four jackals pinned. You should not pick on the weak because you never know who stands behind him, roared Bao. As he drew his jaws closer, he heard the wise voice of Jang Su. Power should never be used to harm those weaker than you. Bao then set the jackals free, and they quickly disappeared, whimpering into the jungle. Weak Tiger stood up and bowed his head to Bao and said, Thank you, I thought my life was doomed but I have been saved by a two-striped tiger. Bao looked down, and to his surprise, he did not see just one stripe anymore, but two. Weak Tiger began to explain to Bao about the jackal's plan to take over the tiger tribes. 
You must return to the tribes. The jackals have found a way to defeat the tigers. It will be the end of our way of life as we know it. The two tigers began their trek back to the tiger tribes. Jang Su had disappeared, but Bao knew he must believe in what he had learned in order to save his village. The lesson of confidence, courage, and perseverance were all making sense. Days had passed and the two tigers finally arrived at the tribes. Every tiger was astonished upon seeing Bao, especially his proud mother. She said tearfully, Son, I cannot believe you are standing in front of me. How did you get these stripes on your coat? Bao replied, Mother, thank you for helping me see that I can achieve so much in my life. I have learned that with courage I can accomplish things I did not think were possible. Weak Tiger suddenly declared with urgency, I have been trying to tell this to the elders. The Jackal's Revolt is coming. The three striped tigers are away at the top of the hill and do not care about us. Bao must save the tribes. At that moment, appearing from the bushes, the jackals began closing in on the tigers. The jackals' revolt had begun. The leader of the jackals came forward and said, Tigers, for generations you have repressed us. We have always lived in your shadow. From this day on, you must live under our laws. All the tigers bowed down to the jackal leader except Bao, who remained confident and stood tall. Seeing this, the jackal leader snarled, Foolish tiger, do you wish to be the sacrifice for your tribes? Bao replied calmly, The greatest power I have is not the strength to attack. It is the power to choose right from wrong and the choice to teach others the same. With this act of nobility and leadership, a third stripe had appeared on Bao's coat, now making him a three-striped tiger. Seeing this, the other tigers began emboldened and declared, Bao has three stripes. We can now defeat the jackals once and for all and rule the jungle forever. But to everyone's surprise, Bao stood between the tigers and the jackals and said, We will not attack the jackals just to show that we are more powerful than they are. The greatest leadership is to use our strength to help those weaker than ourselves. We must learn to live with the jackals in harmony. If we share our leadership with them, their strength will help us just as our strength will help them. Our destiny is not bound by birth. It is only bound by honor, courage, respect, nobility, and leadership. Our destiny is not bound by birth. It is only bound by honor, courage, respect, nobility, and leadership. From that day forward, the tigers and jackals of Songyam jungle lived in peace and unity. Bao's destiny was never written for him. He chose to become a leader in his jungle through nobility. If your life is a book, only yesterday and the days before are written, your future is for you to write. What is in your book? What is your destiny?